Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make your own custom poster aged and ripped by weather and time. I provided a link to this Photoshop file in the video's description so you can download it directly and follow along. In this file are three layers, the wall, the texture for the displacement map, and the poster base. Click on the poster base to make it active and call up your type tool. I'm choosing a font called Bebas New, which you can download for free at defont.com. The point size is 134, the text is smooth, the alignment is flush right, and the color black. Click on the upper right of the poster base and type out your text. Control click or command click on the poster base to make a selection of its shape. Then click on the layer mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the text we just typed out. Click off the chain link to move or effect either layer independently from the other. Click on the text to make it active and call up your move tool to reposition it. To slide the second line down press T to call up your type tool, highlight the line and open your character panel. If you don't see it go to window and choose character. Increase the letting or space between the lines by placing your cursor over the icon to the left of the number and drag to the right. Call up your type tool and click on the lower left of the poster base. I'll change the point size to 52, click on the align left icon and click on the color box. I'll choose a dark red 950404 and type out my text. Go to your layer mask and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag the copy of it to the text above. Press Control or Command I to invert it. Click on the text to make it active and call up your Move tool to reposition it. For the third line I'll call back up my Type tool and click on the lower right. I'll change the point size to 113, click on the Align Right icon and click on the color box. I'll choose Black and type out my text. Repeat the same steps as you did earlier for the third line. Now that we have all the text for our poster typed out, we're ready to effect them. Shift click on the bottom text layer and reduce their opacity to 80 percent. Press Control or Command G to group them into a folder and we'll name it Text. Change the blend mode to color burn and reduce the opacity to 90 percent. We'll make a composite snapshot of this image. Press Control Shift Alt E or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. Open your text folder. We're going to make each text layer into a selection. Control click or Command click on the top text and press and hold Shift as you Control click or Command click on the second and third layers. With the composite layer still active, press Ctrl or Command J to cut the selection from the image and copy it to its own layer. Let's collapse the text folder and trash the composite layer since we don't need it anymore. Make the displacement map active and visible. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. We'll blur it by two pixels. Go to Layer and Duplicate Layer. Go to Document and New. We'll name the document Displacement Map and click OK. Close the Displacement Map document and click Yes. We'll save it on the desktop as a PSD file. Click Save and click OK. Hide the Displacement Map layer and the text layer. Make the Cutout Text layer active. Go to Filter, Distort, and Displace. We'll make the horizontal and vertical scales 5 stretch to fit and repeat edge pixels. In the desktop click on the displacement map document and click open. Notice our text immediately took on the contours of the poster's puckered surface. Drag the poster base layer right below the cutout text. Shift click on the text layer to make both layers active and press Control or command T to call up your transform tool.
When you see this straight double arrow symbol, press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag in to reduce both layers from its center axis point. Go back to a corner and when you see this double curved arrow symbol, drag it counterclockwise and then press Enter or Return. We're ready to make our poster look distressed, weathered, and ripped. Shift click on the poster base and group the two poster layers into a folder. We'll name it Poster. Make a layer mask next to the folder. Make your foreground color black by pressing D. Call up your brush tool and open your brushes. Click on the gear icon to open your list of brush presets. I'm choosing a set I call Grunge Brushes. You can download them for free at BrushEasy.com. There are many sets to choose from, just type in Grunge Brushes in their search field. If you're not sure how to install brushes, watch my tutorial on how to do this. The link is in the video's description. Click OK so we'll just see this set of brushes in the thumbnails window. Choose a brush and change the blend mode to normal and the opacity to 100%. To make your brush smaller, press and hold your left bracket key until your brush is the size you want. Click on your document to reveal the wall behind your poster. Continue to experiment with different brushes on your poster and if you don't like the result, just press Z to undo the last action. I'd like to give our poster base a bit more contrast to separate it more from the wall. Open the poster folder and make the base active. Call up your levels window by pressing Ctrl or Command L. I'll change the input highlights to 220 and the input midtones to 0.75. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.